loving the vibe here in Yarmouth. King came through. Hit him with the bing bang boom. Vacation land, we the main two. The spot's locked. The vibe is ain't so good. Look at the size of Aaron O'Ryan. Aaron O'Ryan, big guy. I remember him from my time wrestling out in the Midwest. He's been chipping away at the block. Willing to endure it. Oh my Whoa. God! Vendetta just got hoisted like eight feet up in the air, but he was able to make his way to his tag partner, Aaron O'Ryan, dropped toe hold by Agro, and now DK. All right, off to the races. High impact offense, the assisted Falcon Arrow. Vendetta into the cover, if you will. Oh, okay. For scouted, Agro puts the boot, puts the oh. brakes on. Watch the DDT. Wow, caught. What a combo. Spine buster into the back stab recover. If your partner is nowhere to be found on the apron. Wait a minute. Whoa. What a combo! For Vendetta, but DK looking to power out, sends O'Ryan oh. into his partner! Wrong part of town for Aaron O'Ryan! Incoming drip drop! That's gonna be the first of many. Yes. Tonight, he's gotta get out of the way of Channing Tonic. And again, it's frustrating to me to see this kid in Star Rise. Tonight could have been his opportunity. That could have been him and Ace Romero tonight. Yes. He wouldn't have needed an open challenge. Alec Price, he's the one who shot at Alec Price for a while now. Not yes, to be indeed. done. Danny Thomas playing chess here. Mental chess, and he's going to get his opportunity to prove the doubters wrong. Channing Thomas ain't gonna like this. Channing Thomas was very impressive this year so far. Introducing first in the corner to my left, currently on loan from the Dallas Wrestling Office, weighing in at 227 pounds, world class Channing Thomas! His opponent in the corner to my right. From straight out of the gate, weighing in at 206 pounds, the big Bufa Dope! Oh, Wait a minute! Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh word! Oh my word! Oh. Mid handstand! Oh, that's it. Channing that's Thomas. It. That's the pace of the match. It's over. That's the entire contest right there. Big mistake, and I, I've got nothing but love for that kid, Desmond Cole, but he, he put himself in a position he shouldn't have been in tonight. He's fixing to lose it all. Channing Thomas, a shark. He is a shark. Top tier opportunist. Oh. He just proved it right there. Devastating kick. Mid one-handed handstand. Oh my word. And you, you had said it before. The, Chess that Channing Thomas is playing, Grand Ma Master status, thinking three, four, five moves ahead of Desmond Cole. Channing Thomas. Spending most of his time there at the Dallas Sportatorium these days, but shout gets, out. we get him on loan here in New England every now and again. Yeah, shout out to the Dallas Wrestling Office for taking care of Channing Thomas's uh, plane tickets from Dallas. Of course. I was say, we were supposed to have Brian Adidas tonight, but Channing Thomas said, I'll take the booking instead. Head first into the post. Channing Thomas saying everybody to get up here. I oh, still chair. Still chair. Everybody with the plunder tonight for whatever reason. What is, what is going on? This is not in the Channing Thomas playbook. I don't know what this is. Likes to employ that world-class pile driver. Is he thinking that under that stack of chairs? Scoop up. Slam to Desmond Cole. And Bufa, out of the gate, has not had an opportunity to catch his breath. This match isn't even officially underway yet, Torres. Yeah, Eric Have Greenleaf. Have you heard a bell? I don't believe. Count him out. Can't even count him out. The match hasn't started. 
You jumped him before the bell, Thomas. Oh, Miss Palladino. See, it looks like Eric Greenleaf having some words here with Rich Palladino. Referee has informed me that he is going to give Desmond Cole a count of 10. If he cannot make it to the ring by then, he will forfeit the match to Channing Thomas. You're giving him a 10 count to even just start the match? This is unheard of. This is foolish. Eric Greenleaf drawing the line in the sand. I don't, this, is, this shouldn't even be happening right now, Johnny. I'm, I'm with you, Top Shelf. You know, up to the referee's discretion. Listen to this crowd. Firmly behind Desmond Cole, the big boofa. You know, you gotta wonder, Eric Greenleaf dressed as a WCW referee. Maybe he's evil Nick Patrick. Oh boy. I don't think he has the, bra the brains to become evil Nick Patrick. Never mind. Channing Thomas. Desmond Cole makes it into the ring. And we have ourselves, and now the match is underway. At least the bell's rung, but now Channing Thomas can just pick the bones. Yeah, he can't believe Cole got back in the ring, but that now. Pile driver gets him, gets him through. Oh, what? Jack Knife cover. Two, three, he gets him! Desmond Cole got him! Here is your winner, the Big Buffa, Desmond Cole! I got him, Joey! Hold on a second! Hold on a second! I need an official count on how long that actual official match was. That might be Brad Cashew's record. Back up and Brad Cashew. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Oh, the win. He might be in the record book. We're gonna have to check. He might now have the fastest win in Limitless Wrestling history. Back to the hotel. You talk about a rookie, but a rookie mistake. Put it on the head. There's nobody that would love that more than Brad Cashew. Brad Cashew's watching at home right now. Channing Thomas beside himself in the middle of the ring. I am, I am in shock, just like you, Johnny. Papa Bear is in the house. Daddy's home. There he is. Oh my. Channing Thomas, they've neglected you. They've put you in situations you cannot win. They've neglected you. They have put you with people that had their best interest in mind not yours. They've neglected you. Every territory, Channing Thomas, it's Channing Thomas with Sidney Bacabella. They've neglected you. And look at you. You're down on one knee. You're down. You're angry. Stand up. Because when my friends are down, the Lord gave me two good hands, didn't he? One for giving and one for taking. And when my friends are down, Channing, I take my hand. Whether they're tired and they've got nowhere to sleep, whether they're hungry with nothing to eat, with their hearts are filled with ache and pain, I take my hand and I reach it out because that's what it's there for, Channing. Goodness. Reach out! Reach out! Take my hand in yours. There it is. Walk with me, Channing. Moving forward. If you win, I win. If you lose, I lose. I do not lose! In Greek tradition, they're married. I make you two promises moving forward. Number one, I don't leave your side. And number two, this time next year, because there is no better athlete at your age in this sport, this time next year, you will be the heavyweight wrestling champion of Limitless Wrestling. My name is Sidney Bacabella! 
This is world class Channing Thomas from Yarmouth, Maine. We will see you soon. House. From Champions Trailer Park in Louisville, Kentucky. Weighing in at 235 pounds, he is white trash wonderful. This is B. His opponent in the corner to my right from Dangertown, USA. Weighing in at 202 pounds, he is the best thing in wrestling, the alternative, Anthony Green. Talk about a styles clash, AG does know what it's like to get in there with the big boys. He has tangoed with the likes of Ace Romero in there before, you know, our current world champion, Anthony Green has victories over Ace Romero. You gotta believe he's looking to employ that same strategy against similar size Beef. I will say this about Beef. Beef has a speed factor that Ace Romero does not bring to the table. Perhaps that will make all the difference here tonight. Yarmouth, feeling Beef. I'm saying you don't hear the it's all good chance anymore. You don't hear the retro chance. The best thing in wrestling was once the most fond wrestler of this crowd here in Yarmouth. Man, the times have changed. Yeah. This past year, 2022, has not been the kindest to Anthony Green. Beef gives him a little how do you do that. AG feeling the power of Beef. Anthony Green, there's no, there's no expression on that face that says that he's happy to be here, that he's excited to be here. And, no, maybe that's made all the difference. Still fresh off of that tour with Pro Wrestling Noah. What was supposed to be two weeks turned into nearly two months. I had a rough run in the N1 victory. Came back a completely changed wrestler, Anthony Green. Off the rope, shoulder tackle says no. Kick right back into the side headlock. Looking for the headlock takeover. Beef puts on the brakes. He's gonna bring Anthony Green back up to his feet. Anthony Green up and over, takes off. That's that clothesline, a chop to the chest of Beef. Beef oh. don't care, he don't mind. No, not Green at all. Keeps employing that boot, oh! Backdrop never mind, driver. Never mind that boot, that backdrop driver. A Saito suplex there from Gnarls Garvin. And Anthony Green finds himself in some trouble now. Beef train leaving the station. It's a ticket I do not want to have. Garvin again, big clothesline to the corner. And like I said, AG has prepared for the bigger competitors. He's been in there with the likes. Maybe you remember a guy, what about Donovan Dijak? Does that yeah. name ring a bell? Oh uh, yeah. He knows what yeah. it's like in there to be with height and weight. You look at Beef, he's got speed on his side that Ace Romero does not have. He has that thickness, we've seen that senton, we've seen that beefy bump, likes to employ that power bump, the top rope splash. The playbook is deep for Gnarls Garvin. And he chains them all together. Nobody home on the splash in the corner, AG. Once again, taking advantage with the chops there. Whoa. Big clothesline met from Beef. Looking for that bulldog. Old John Wayne, no. Anthony Green throws into the bus. AG with a go behind. O'Connor roll incoming. Absolutely not, says Gnarls Garvin. Catches Whoa. him with that splash, that cross body. Only two. Not all of it crushed Anthony Green. Beef wants to hear it. If he's got the support from the faithful here in Yarmouth, he wants to hear it. Now Beef, yeah. gonna pile on the offense, Potter and the Beefy Bomb. Bomb a little bit early, maybe too early. Anthony Green with a super kick right into the butt of the jaw. Beef right back on it though. Once again in position for that Beefy Bomb. He gets it, Whoa. oh no, Whoa. oh no, not again. This is the, that's exactly what happened. He blew that knee out at the expense of Hammerstone when he missed the beefy bomb. I'm uncertain. I don't believe he landed right on the knee, but the small of the back appears to be injured now. Yeah, brutal spill either way. <laughs> yeah, beef. Beef in a world of hurt. Anthony Green. That's exactly what Anthony Green needed, although you see Anthony Green limping, holding on to the small of his back. 
Yeah, feeling the effects of beef, and now looking to return the favor in kind. Anthony Green, last month here, the anniversary show, seven year anniversary, Johnny Torres. Anthony Green defeats Rip Bison. Took the boot with him. Walking, talking, flying. Catches him into the cover. Two, only two. Officials had to get, a couple of officials had to go get that boot back. Keeping both men separated. They did not want Rip to go get it himself. I can only yeah. imagine they made that what would have happened there. They made that truce at Limitless for Blitz Creek for one night. Ripper got the boot back then. <laughs> Stomping a mud hole, Anthony Green. I'm surprised the means at which Anthony Green used to defeat Rip Bison. Rip Bison in the driver's seat at the end of that contest. Very close, perhaps, to a victory. Yeah. It was not meant to be. And Anthony Green, well... Took a little souvenir with him because of it. AG now. A wind up. Another chop. Not afraid to deal here to Beef. And I would not take the time to jaw jack with the fans, AG. Do not give Beef time to recover. Oh. The eyes of Beef. This is not the AG we are used to. Beef now going to light him up with some chops. Two of them. Here comes the third. Overhand chops in bunches. Speed pick it up. Oh my gosh! Big clothesline from Gnarls Garvey. Flattened AG. Oh, and you had mentioned it earlier, that big power bomb. No! Nearly a pile driver, Anthony Green. AG gets him over. Beef hang hangs on there. Hanging off your dear life, trying to bring AG over. Very close. If AG can reach those ropes. Nicely done, AG, the ring awareness. Right there, you're gonna be delivering some mounted punches. Rains Nicely down. done by Anthony Green. Yeah. We talked about it. He's a scientist in there. He knows where he is at all times. No matter how deep this contest gets, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, AG's gonna use every single move in his arsenal, every weapon that he has, every bit of knowledge that he has. High ring IQ. And that's the thing, that isn't to say that Beef doesn't have it, but Beef just reacts. He's gonna get you on strikes, no doubt about that, every time. Into the cover, two, only two. But he reacts. Perhaps Beef lets those emotions get the best of him, perhaps. Good old boy from Kentucky. Yes, indeed. And that's the difference maker, perhaps. And that's why Anthony Green probably finds himself in the driver's seat right now, if you ask my opinion. Beef trying to find a way out here. Left arm trapped, chin lock. But Yarmouth. Rallying behind Champions Trailer Park's finest. Puts the brakes on. Switches. Big punch, good hand. Yes, sir. A good hand from Anthony Green. Here comes Beef. Whipped into the buckle, AG there now. Back to the second row. Catches one to the gut from Beef. Garvin now has got to mount some offense here. Has to get the win back in the sail. And Gearing now, up here. He's gonna do some scuffling now. Sticking, moving. All those right hands landing. AG trying for another one, gets caught with a big one. The haymaker and the scoop and the slam. Charles Garvin, big beef incoming. Big clothesline once again. Gonna be looking for that bulldog once again. Gets it. Face first into the canvas goes Anthony Green. The cover from Beef upset no. Shoulder up from Anthony Green. Beef feeling it though. Could be feeling victory closing in. And that's the thing, he's gotta stay on Anthony Green. Do not let your emotions run wild. Stay focused. With what you know. It's gotta be power. Oh, yeah, the jackknife. Jack, jackknife cover. Only two. Wild swing, Anthony Green might be thinking a backdrop driver of his own. But Beef ran it down the elbows. Butterflies the arms. AG breaks out, super kick once again, landing flush. Belly to back, suplex nicely done. Right into the cover, consummate about it. Two, only two. Beef hanging in there. And you gotta imagine, Beef just trading wins and losses at the moment. 
He's got to find himself here. It's just, it's an unfortunate thing that tonight it's going to have to come at the expense of AG. No easy task. Anthony Green dragging Beef back to a vertical base. Hooking one arm. Might be Potterick so much prettier. It's so much prettier. That stuff up. Tamakazi. I think Beef thinking of figure four. Whoa! Oh, that earthquake splash. Into the cover. He's got him. Hit. Only two. Only two. Close, no cigar. Beef quick to follow up. Power bomb incoming. Gets it. Two. Only two. Beef shaking his head. Now is not the time to shake your head. You got to set him oh. up for that beefy bomb. And he knows it. Yeah. He's feeling it. But you can't waste this much time. Calling it out. I talk about Beef having improved cardio. Anthony Green's is better. Do not give him time to come back. I got to wonder if Anthony Green heard him call for the beefy bomb. Yeah, roll, rolls away. Beef saying he doesn't want the count out here. Putting on the brakes is Nate Specker for that count. Beef heading to the outside. And I think that might be a mistake, Johnny Torres. Yes, indeed. Throw the attack from Anthony Green. Right away. The trap was set. Anthony Green coming around the corner, looking under the, what's he looking for? Yeah. What's he looking for? What? What is that? That's a turnbuckle. That's one of the spare turnbuckles. Oh, oh that would be life altering. Oh, but he, the vibration sent through the right hand of Anthony Green. Well deserved. Swinging that absolutely unnecessary, swinging that turnbuckle right at the head of Charles Garvin. Yeah, now Beef telling Anthony Green, have a seat. Anthony Green, nowhere to go. His right hand's landed. We've seen a beefy bomb to the... Ch oh, wait a minute. Is he going to round the bases? This is either the victory or the loss right here, Johnny Torres. Whatever happens next. Rounding third. No, the knee. The knee. Oh, that injured knee, Johnny Torres. We've been monitoring it since the beginning of the summer. Is, is, that's, it's detrimental to him. Ever since Hammerstone. Ever since the match with, oh my goodness, back in May, Memorial Day weekend, and I swear, I don't believe that he is fully recovered. That is the worst case scenario right now. Beef is now gonna have to work. Yeah, now but suddenly. What is, what car, he's gotta, suddenly he's you wonder. Play with these cars he's been dealt here, Johnny Torres. Yeah, you wonder about the viability of things such as that top rope splash at this point, but now so much prettier. He throws him off. Incoming. Oh, out of the way, Nate. Not right now. Oh, come on, AG. Wait, Anthony Green. Rough weekend for Nate Speckman here. Yeah. Last night at Pro Wrestling Grind. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, Long on. night at the office, to say the least. Low blow from Anthony Green. Look at that. You know what kind of grin on his face. Oh, and he's reveling that, it. That, uh, what, what do they call it? The S-eating grin? You know exactly what it is. Yeah. That's the happiest he's looked all night. And now. Hold on one second. Oh. Hold on one second. Ripper. Look who's here. Rip Bison here. Got that turnbuckle. Got a lot of words for you, AG. Whoa! Oh! Beefy Bomb! Oh my word! AG's out! Former rivals, Rip Bison! Gnarls Garvin! Oh my goodness! Can he get up there with that bad knee? It's all or nothing, Torres! AG has nowhere to go! Splash! Two and three! Here is your winner, White Trash Wonderful, Beef!